and welcome back to a kooky corner of YouTube where today I thought we would have a quick look at some of the needle felting books that I have loved and worked with over the years. Um, I'll take you back through the first one I ever got and going through them in date they were printed order, not necessarily the date that I bought them. So the first one I ever got was this beautiful one called Fleece Dog. Um, from you, you can probably tell from the title that this is going to be um, all about our woofy little friends and you wouldn't be far wrong. So this, I think this was originally printed in Japanese but then was re reprinted um, and it is by Nobuko Nagakubo. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, um, but a Japanese um, felting artist. And basically you have how we make all these different beautiful felt dogs. Uh, way back in the day on Etsy, I used to make uh, some dogs called Padfoot dogs, which were beautiful colours, all different rainbow colours you might know. Um, and I think this was a book that I actually learned how to make um, felt, um, needle felted dogs from. So you have all your tools, how, uh, mixing fleece, basically, and then it goes through every single thing that you need in order to make the specific dog that you want to make. So that's a really nice one if you're interested in making um, felt that needle felted dogs, then this is a great book to have. I will have a look for these and I will try and link them all um, to Amazon if possible or anywhere that you might be able to get them. Some of them, I'm not sure, may be out of uh, print, uh, but you could certainly do a search for any of them. So that's the first one on my list. That one is Fleece Dog. The second one I have is um, a great book called I Felt Awesome, Tips and Tricks for 35 Plus Needle Poked Projects. And this is by Moxie. And if you look on the back here, we've got some of the ideas of things. You've got a toothbrush. It's, it's kind of a quirky one. This is really quirky. And I, I like it for that because it's some unusual things that you wouldn't usually uh, make. But again, we've got an introduction to needle felting, different tools, materials that you might use, how to build up layers. Really, really great stuff. So you've got wearables, you've got a martini time necklace there, which looks great with like uh, olives. So if you were keen on having martinis, that would be a great thing to do. As I say, very quirky, using lots of different materials to include with it as well. Um, but also lots of information. I really quite like that one, the Sheep of the Dead Finger Puppet. I kind of like that one. Um, templates in the back to work from. And along with each project, you've got another one. So you've got billiard balls there as well. <laughs> really very good. I do have this book, so the one at the back here that's mentioned, The Sweet Needle Felts, but can I find it? No, I cannot, because I would also recommend that one. It's brilliant. Love that. That's by Jen Doherty. So that's the missing book <laughs> that I definitely would recommend. Another book that I got was by Laurie Sharp. This is the Wool Pets um, book. This is a hardback one. I've had this for quite some time. Hello, Bear. You want to join in? Well, you can't. Stay there. Um, so again, you've got different things. You've got owls, butterflies. Again, they go through the basic techniques and different tools that you might need. Um, got a frog there, cats, border collie, chipmunk. Yeah, so loads to have a go at. I love the bat. I think that's quite cute. And an owl there. So a lovely book. Spare really wants to join in. I'm going to sit you there. You just keep wanting to join in. So again, another one that I recommend as well is Wool Pets, making 20 figures with wool roving and a barbed needle. 
this is a great book <laughs> here from basics to bears yes so this book takes you through all of the different techniques that you might be using and builds you up to some more complicated things um, such as rabbits and other bears and how to make them unique and obviously some beautiful examples here in the back but if you're interested specifically in making bears definitely recommend this book this is by lisa lisa adams and it's just a beautiful book so definitely recommended and the last one i've got here is needle felting for beginners how to sculpt with wool and this is by ros dace and, Lou, and judy balkin and what i like about this one is it does take you right through from the basics so you've got what is needle felting all the books have some kind of variation on this um, different kinds of wool obviously the coarse wool is the best to use to start off with mixing colors using carders so much information how to build up 3d felting how to join 3d shapes and then you've got a whole section of beautiful projects to work through and it is superb i actually really love this and i want to work um on my way through some of these as well because there's always something new you can learn about your art or craft or whatever it is that you want to do so again this one needle felting for beginners a super super book to add to the collection and as i say i have got quite a few i have got a few more uh, needle felting books dotted around in my home um as i say the one in that book that was mentioned there that i'd really like to mention again and like to dig out for myself that's a sweet needle felt and that's by jen doherty but i will have a look through um all my um books that i have here and see if i can get links for them that i can put down in the description so that you don't have to go a hunting uh, if i can find them they'll be there if i can't then i'll put um out of print or um occasionally uh, ebay is a great place to look to check up for books that you can't get hold of uh, naturally and sometimes if you go into secondhand bookshops um you will be able to pick some of these up as well but that's it for now um short and sweet but i hope you've enjoyed a little look through some of my library of needle felting books and i hope you would like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this and you want to see some more and if you click on the bell you will get a notification every time i make a new upload have a great day and i will see you soon bye for now